been having some issues on this tank uh, recently. It's a while since I've done a video. Can't quite seem to get these fish to be happy. <clears throat> There's always one that doesn't seem to like life. Um, that's this week's one. But then I've got two in hospital and two in a breeding tank. Um, they're fairly happy. One's gone a bit skinny. So I thought, how do you increase the filtration? Um, having said that, I don't think it's a water quality problem, but it can only help, I guess. So the top sump is back. Now, quite a few questions on this since we last showed it. Um, you can see there, plants are doing really well. All this is, is a 10 mil acrylic trough. Uh, there is another video I'll put a link to, which shows you how to make one. Um, water's pumped on one side, runs all the way through here. I've got a bit of K1 there, because I think that's possibly the best way to filter water. So we'll give that a try. Some of it's moving, some of it's static. Um, it gets clean water in it. There's then um, the plant section, and it's a shame this isn't bigger really. I could really do more room for more plants because they really love it. If you look at that one there, that's been in there a week and a half, and there's so many new roots coming out. There's new roots everywhere, so it's growing like a fair hour rate. These plants were just stuck in a bucket, which is why that piece lily there is a bit yellow. But look at the new leaves, are a nice lovely green colour, and there's new leaves coming out everywhere, if you look. Um, Another one there. There's just new leaves all over and it's turned into three plants. So in a week and a half it's gone from this yellow, tired old, probably about to die plant to, um, look, there's more shoots around the back there, look, to a nice deep green colour. So the plants grow really fast. The water gets a good old clean up. Um, there's an umbrella plant there. These two odd shoots here are brand new in a week and a half. So that's how fast they grow. So I presume it pulls the nitrates out of the water, cleans it up a bit and can only be good. So um, I like growing the plants, I like cleaning the water, so it's a good old game really. The reason I took it down was the heating bill for the fish tank was quite high because you get quite a lot of evaporation. So the next job is to tidy up how this water comes in. There's a tiny little pump just in there. Um, and I will attempt to run this in pipe through the access point. There's not many access points on this tank, but we'll come up the side and over the top and we'll tidy that up, make that neat so these glass lids can shut. Um, and then I will get better acrylic to cover the top. Obviously it's difficult around the plants and the roots, you can see there. It's very tricky to cover all of that up, but we'll minimize that. But for another couple of quid heating the fish tank, um, this seems to work quite nicely. And the water just returns down this little elbow and into the tank. And the big improvement this time is I've built this support. So the, the weight of that sump was on the top of the fish tank before, on the glass. I didn't like that, that scared me a bit. So we've now got three points holding this braced shelf. There's metal under there, so that can't bend. Um, and then it's supported on both sides. Supported there, supported in the middle, and supported around the side. Um, and obviously there's a couple of fail safes, so this can't overflow, because obviously if I block this tube here, it's going to pump the water out the top, um, so it can simply flow over the back of this weir on this side. You can see that bit there. If the water comes above there, it flows down this side, out of this pipe, straight back into the tank. So it seems to be working nicely, and just to prove, put some kind of figures on it. The nitrates in here, they eat a lot, they're very messy, it's homemade beef heart, I think that might be the problem, but we'll deal with that in another video. Um, there's quite a lot of fish too. I think I may need to cut down on some of these um, fish just to reduce the numbers. But the plan is to clean them up, get them all back to being happy. It's not, well, nowhere near as clear as it used to be. So we'll get that fixed too. But the nitrates used to be around 20 odd. I've just run that test there, look, and I think that's the lowest it's ever been. And I'm not using any resin either. So I'm putting that from here to here down to all that stuff up there and the good growth that's getting. So if you want to know more, um, there is a video on how it was built. Ask any questions, give us any comments. Of course, give us a subscribe, that always helps. Um, the other thing, there's a fluval aqua sky just suspended above that, which comes on on a timer for six hours a day. So they get the light from up there, the nutrients from down there, and they grow like mad. 